The, this space is the family space of the Frieza Fair, and my project is called Temple of Play. One part of that is the emoticon theater, where children and adults explore the, the theme of portraiture. And uh, one other part is called the podcast relaxation, where uh, they do meditation, relaxation. They reconnect with their physicality, either in a group um, session or either individually inside here these pyramid pods, which I call them individual meditation pods. One other part of this project is the online space, which is a website called Temple of Play, and in there we are collecting from everybody that made it to the fair or not. It's a space beyond these borders of this space. This is like a physical manifestation of an online idea, and that's how always how I work in my practice. I create this uh, physical space, I transfer all these uh, ideas and semiotics and symbolism of the internet in this physical space. Children are the post-internet generation, so they really grow up with this mentality of expressing themselves through an online way or, you know, a physical way that correlates with a, you know, online world. So in the International Portrait Gallery slideshow, it's part of an online archive. Of a web, it's a website called internationalportraitgallery.com and it's a selection uh, that look like uh, anthropomorphic. They look like, you know, faces. I choose some photos and I make this slideshow for sedition. I use it also here uh, we made this family guide that is being distributed all around the fair. And um, basically one side has uh, um, the, one of the few of these images. It was designed by Andreas Angelidakis. And now the other part here, basically you can, the children can take a cutout and, you know, make their own faces here. And and this is the emoticubes, we call them. I've done uh, already a few editions for Sedition, and uh, all of them relate to portraiture. I feel the Sedition projects, they make a chapter in a way. The slideshow, the International Portrait Slideshow, is the latest, but actually is the most um, prior base of these things I did before. There is this mandala that it's actually, I saw it in uh, walking on the street in Japan and then it became a website. Then it took the part of this online archive, then it became a slideshow and uh, all these kind of things are, you know, interfering. To distribute online work is very interesting for me. Actually, it's very much related with my practice and how I think that an online work and belong to a collection or something. So, because of course everything can be reproduced or, you know, so through online, but again, the, what stays and it's, you know, part of your collection is the artist signature and, you know, then this certificate that you take from that. So even that it's reproduced Somehow it relates to, again, collecting something. And actually I even see that even these, um, you know, works, that they don't have material qualities. I think they have because actually they take, you know, space. Either it's a cloud or it's a server somewhere in the States. They actually take um, some, you know, so they are again, objects, but in a twisted way. After Freeze project, I'm doing a, a performance project at Frac Rhyme Champagne in France, and which is uh, again based on, a, it's going to be a performance, a play, that is, uh, we are going to use my website, Fantasy Plot Generator, and we are going to reanimate these stories with real actors, and in a theater stage. 
And then after this, I have different, I have an exhibition in uh, Brazil and some other things I'm working for.